Nigerians, many things are not obvious because they have never been explained. Take for example, the killer recharge card 09141 that killed people all over Nigeria last week. We finally got an explanation that made sense. Despite what you've heard, those deaths were not caused by chiefs Boko Haram terrorists planted in recharge cards. Instead, they were caused by Tonda traveling around Nigeria searching for the first lady. Yes, Miss Patience Jonathan. The Tonda wanted to strike her after she swore that she had never eaten $13.5 million in her life. Wow. Fortunately, the Tonda could not locate her because her skin color has changed since the last time Shango saw her. <laughs> Look at this picture and once again tell me what it says about her eating habits. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Boko Haram, it is now obvious that President Jonathan sent the wrong man to Medigri. He sent Olusegun Obasanjo to Medigri instead of the governor of River State, Governor Rotimi Amechi. Last week, the governor showed that he had the skills and statistics for such a delicate job when he told a conference in Port Harcourt that 80% of Northern Nigerian children are ignorant. Oh. Yeah. Since their inauguration some three months ago, Nigerian senators have sat for about two weeks. Only? Only. Only two weeks. They have spent over 60 days on vacation, and their pay for the 14 days of sitting is 35 million naira each. Can you imagine? Some Nigerians are wondering why the long vacation. Well, the answer is simple. The new girlfriends and boyfriends of these senators needed to see the world and shop in the best stores the world has to offer mm. before winter comes. The same cannot be said about those who fail to win a seat in the Senate or their girlfriends. For one of them, winter has already set in. Mm. The former governor of Abia State, Mr. Oju Zokalo, is selling his mansion in DC. What? Oh yeah, wow. oh yeah. The mansion has seven rooms Hi. and seven and a half bathrooms. Seven. It also has an indoor movie theater. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Carlos initial asking price was $4.5 million. What? But why showing the house to a potential buyer, the ghost of Chingwe, a girlfriend of Carlo who died in the house appeared. <laughs> Both buyer and the real estate agent took rest. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo had no option but to drop the price. Oh. Yeah, now at $2.9 million, any buyer will be getting a good deal. Mm -hmm. As long as you can dig up the Chingwe's ghost from the backyard and rebury her in Nigeria. <laughs> uh, to mark President Jonathan's 100 days in office, Dr. Ruben Abati published a 10 page PowerPoint presentation of Jonathan's achievements. It was a list of impressive things. My question is if Jonathan could achieve all this in 100 days, <laughs> why does he want to extend the tenure of the president to six years? That's what I'm talking about. He should be cutting it down to one year or two. Because at the rate President Jonathan is going, in one year, he will run out of things to accomplish for Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> what did uh, diplomatic cables, US diplomatic cables, published by Wikileaks say about you? Well, Me? unlike most of you, I went and checked my name. <laughs> I was shocked by what I saw. The cable said, and I quote, Dr. Damages is an idiot. No! A complete idiot. No! He is a nuisance to all of mankind. No! Sure? Yeah. Wow. If you ask me, I think it is kind of over the top. 
Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. A yes, nuisance to Nigeria, I can buy that. But to all of humanity, <laughs> no, no. Of all Nigerians whose good names were soiled by WikiLeaks cables, only three of them have protested. El Rufai issued a statement calling the advertisement of his poverty as mere gossip. <laughs> Ms. Okonjo Iwala called a corruption accusation leveled against her as something that James Bond investigated and found to be unfounded. <laughs> and President Jonathan called every mention of his fishing trips and rubber shoes as Biapalo talk. <laughs> I'm really present on this one. When it comes to Biapalo, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan knows what he's talking about. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, he's good at that. It's been a, a tough week for Miss Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. I'm not talking about the heat she got from WikiLeaks. I heard that her colleagues in President Jonathan's cabinet have grown balls. They have stopped fearing her. What? No a whole prime minister. <laughs> One even interrupted her at last week's cabinet meeting saying, make I hear what Madam World Bank, whether you be homegrown thief or foreign thief, all of us na thief and thief na thief. <laughs> <laughs> to add insult to her injury, on hearing about the WikiLeaks story, Professor Chinua Achebe called her up and asked her to remove his picture that she placed on the cover of her book, Chinua Achebe, Teacher of Light. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm mixing things up. It was 50 Cent who was warned by Professor Chinua Achebe to desist from calling his upcoming movie, Things Fall Apart. According to Zero News Network, Professor Chinua Achebe rejected 50 Cent's one million dollar cola nuts what? to let him use the book title for his movie. Yes. Wow. Ah. Who said Achebe is not a real Igbo man? <laughs> no real Igbo man will accept one million dollars from a man who, whose name is 50 Cent. If the man had been named Ezego, <laughs> then Achebe would have considered the offer. A study found that one out of every three Nigerian children of school age is out of school. One out That's of every three. True. Don't think because they are out of school, it means that they are not gainfully employed. Many of them are busy working at the shipyard that Haundai is building in Bayasa for <laughs> President Jonathan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Policemen in India want a special cell for Nigerian prisoners. Why? Police spokesman said that they are tired of wasting time trying to verify that a prisoner is a Nigerian before they kick his ass. <laughs> wow. They want to be able to get to a Nigerian prison and feel free to beat up any prisoner they want. <laughs> <laughs> a study published in the journal Pediatrics, you know, that is where I read about Nigeria, stated that four-year-olds who watched SpongeBob SquarePants did worse on tests of attention and problem solving than young children who watched a slow paced program. I'm not surprised. In a related study conducted by David Mack Institute of Management, adults who grew up reading Ikebe Super end up becoming lousy presidents. <laughs> company, like company president, Senate president, country president. Happy birthday to hip-hop star, Two-Face Idibia. He turned 36 years old last week. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! He has outlived Tupac. Mm. Unlike Tupac, Two-Face's legacy has been secured. Statistically, one of his 36 children will carry on his musical legacy long after he's gone. Oh. 36 children. 36? Oh, yeah. Wow. Last week, Miss Angola won 2011 Miss Universe competition held in Brazil. Out of habit, three special assistants on media and publicity in Abuja issued three separate statements blaming Sahara reporters <laughs> for the failure of Miss Nigeria at the competition. Oh, wow. That has been our show for, for this week. Until next week, thank you for watching and see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.